Hey, May Squad, welcome back to my channel. So, I am going to record two videos today. So, one will be over makeup, and the other will be over a unit review. So, let's go ahead and get started. You already know I'm going to say, I'm running behind on schedule per use. But I hope this video finds you guys in wonderful, wonderful, wonderful spirits. I hope this new year is still going, going pretty well for you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with, uh, I'm putting on some powder onto my eyelids. Since I have the oily eyelids, get that powder to soak it up. And um, for anyone watching this, just let you know my thoughts and prayers are out there with all the government workers who are not able to work at this time. Um, I pray that someone out there is able to provide assistance and that the companies are able to provide you guys with some type of relief or break or reprieve from your bills while you're while we're in the middle of this mess. So, um, just try. I know it's I know it's difficult when you don't know how you're gonna pay for stuff, how you're gonna eat. Believe me, I've been there. It's it's extremely extremely stressful, and nobody should have to go through that. Um, you know, even like homeless people and stuff like that. No one should have to go through knowing where they're gonna eat, where they're gonna lay their head, what what they're gonna do about their kids. Um, so my thoughts and prayers are out there with you, and I pray that that God places on this on someone's heart to to, to get this to end. So, um, end in a positive way, you know, I want to put that out there. I don't want to say just the end, but the end in a positive way for everybody because everyone is getting affected, uh, by this, not just the government workers, but there are people who make a living based off of the border, um, American born citizens, American born companies, and you know, they're getting affected by this as well. So, um, just if, if you're a government employee, just Please try to remain strong and just have faith, you know. That's what's going to get you through this, faith and hope. You know, if you don't have those two or if you only have one, it's gonna, you're going to make it more difficult for yourself. So please just embrace your faith, embrace hope. And if there are family members that can help you, I pray it's placed in their heart to help you out and assist you through this time. Um, but just please remain strong and remain positive. All right, so now that we have our base on, let's go ahead and get started. So I have some new products I'm going to be using today. And if you follow me on social media on Instagram, you know I ordered some more products from another company. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for it. I even set my alarm so that I could order these products when they were released yesterday. So I will be reviewing those for you. This is the first time I ever ordered for that company. And I'm just really excited to see the looks I can create and just to see how well the product really, really works. So for our palette today, we are using the Resolution Palette, and this is from Lux Glam Cosmetics. And so it comes in this box here, and then here is the palette itself. So it comes with, you know, the little plastic to protect the eyeshadows from the mirror. So I love the fact that it has a mirror to go with it. And here are the colors. And so let me do a, a quick swatch. So this is bubbly. Okay. This is lucky. And snow, which is, you know, a white color. And this is big apple. Oh, wow. I, put, I didn't realize where I swatched Big Apple at. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, this is Magic, which is a beautiful blue color. And this is Joy, which is a yellow. So a lot of, this is like a primary-based palette, is how I would describe it. And then you have uh, 12 O'Clock, which is a black shade. 
Sorry, guys. I'm turning my hand this way, so I'm not even seeing where I'm placing these. So I'm really sorry about that. Then you have Royalty, which is a purple shade. And then the last one, which is January. And that's like the silver metallic color. So they have really nice pigments, uh, pigmentation. So you have two kind of foil metallic shades, which is January and bubbly, the, the gold and the silver. And then Royalty has a few little specks in it, but it's kind of in between. It's leaning more towards the matte. It just has a slight little kind of speckle and glitter in it. And then the rest are all matte shades. So I, I really like this because I'm a matte person. So yeah. So the first shade, we're going to use January and then this middle row right here. So those are the colors we're going to be working with. Okay, so there isn't any fallout. Like, there's barely, like, little tiny itty bit of fallout using these colors. So that's amazing. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. They blend beautifully. The, well, the colors I use blend really beautifully. Um, so, so far, I am definitely liking this palette. Um, yeah, I mean, I, the pigmentation's great. Um... Yeah, and the colors blend well, and there's not a lot of fallout. So, so far, so good. I'm glad I did give this palette a chance. I'm trying to add more palettes to my collection since I'm always using, you know, my Bad Habit Beauty ones. Um, see, I'm trying to get more products for more products for you guys to kind of review and try out, and to also introduce you to some indie companies that you might not know of. And that way you can try out their products and see if you like them as well. Now I will say the purple does blend a little differently than the other um, shadows. And that's because I think it has that slight reflective material in it. So it, it has a slight, slight, slight shimmer quality to it. So I think that's why. But other than that... They all blend really well. So maybe I might use a purple as in a, in a different way than I did this time. So now we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. We're going to create kind of a, um, a open crease. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. You've seen it before. So we're just going to do it on here. I've mentioned this in other videos but my favorite brush to use to cut the crease is the E19 a brush from Morphe and it's like a flat brush kind of dome shape I really like really like it um, to cut my crease so now I'm going to use snow um, from the same resolution palette and just pack that um, into the uh, cut area we just shaped out In addition to the eyeshadow palette, this company also sells, um, the first thing I noticed about this company were, were the glitters. So uh, she did glitters, she has lipsticks, um, and she has lashes. And, oh, brow gel, which I might end up getting some, some brow products. So um, this was the latest thing she released, which is the palette. But um, I wanted to get glitter. She had a sale going on. And of course, I had to get this glitter. She has a Zodiac collection, and I got Capricorn, because you know I'm a capper. Capper. I'm a Capricorn, so I know our season's about to end, but it's okay. 
We begin the year, we end the year, and we start the year. Just so everybody knows that. All right, so hopefully I could, you guys can see this. I don't want to drop it, so I hope it's on camera. But that's Capricorn. So it's like, a, it's a chunky glitter, and it's white. It's like iridescent color. So it, it picks up green, purple, and pink, and some blue. So I thought this these colors that I'm wearing would go great with this. Oops. So I'm going to use my NYX glitter base, put a little bit on the back of my hand. Okay, and I haven't been talking through because I feel like what I'm doing is self-explanatory, but if you do have any questions, just leave them down below and then um, I can clarify any of the steps for you. So now I'm going to ap apply the uh, glitter adhesive and put the glitter on. Alright guys, look at that glitter. Yes. Um, also, a word of advice when you're using chunky glitters, um, make sure that you're really pressing them into the eyelid to make sure that they are adhering. Um, because if you don't and you just lightly press it and move on, they will fall off off your eye and they could get into your eye. So just be really careful with the chunkier glitters. Just really really press them into the eyelid and press them into whatever type of adhesive you're using okay so now that we have put that on we can now move on to the rest of our face so i'm going to go ahead and i'm still using the infallible matte lock primer so i'm just uh, i'm just going to apply that all over the face Okay, and then I just applied my Superstay Foundation by Maybelline, and I'm in the color 220, which is natural beige. And I'm just going to stipple that all over my face. Uh, make sure with foundations, if you want to avoid, you know, any cakey, any cakey look, or the, to avoid the cakey look, make sure you're really um, blending in your foundation and start with a light layer. You know, um, pick out a, a foundation that is buildable. That way you can add another layer to it, but because you don't want to put too much on because just start with a light layer and then just build from there. And just make sure you're really taking the time to blend in that foundation. Um, a lot is a lot of times we move really fast or move really quickly through the steps on the face and we don't give the face as much attention as we do to the eyeshadow and you can have a bomb eyeshadow look, but if your foundation is ugly and cakey, it just it just takes away from the look. So all that time you spent is it's slightly wasted because you don't have that full complete look. So make sure you really take the time to blend out your foundation. Make sure it looks really flawless on the skin. And or also in order to have a flawless face, I think I mentioned this on previous videos. Make sure your face is clean. Make sure your face is clean. You need moisture. Uh, most people who say they have oily skin, they actually don't have oily skin. It's just because their skin is dehydrated. So make sure you're investing in a good moisturizer. Um, if you do have, think you do have combination skin, make sure you have an exfoliator. Everyone should exfoliate their face, but people who have oily skin, you should be exfoliating your face between two to three times a week. Regular skin types, normal skin types, dry skin types, you can get away with just exfoliating once a week. But you really got to remove those dead skin cells so your skin can breathe, it can rejuvenate, and do the things that you know it needs to do to give you that flawless comple complexion, you know, that glowy skin, whether you have on foundation or not. So take care of your skin, wash it, wash your brushes, 
Don't keep using dirty brushes for weeks upon weeks upon weeks. You're just putting dirt and bacteria back onto your face and you're defeating the whole purpose of you washing your face. So I hope those tips are helpful to somebody out there. I know I didn't have a skin routine, a really good one before I started going to getting my monthly facials, but now I have invested in a skin routine and I'm telling you, you can see the difference. You can like automatically see the difference between really good clean skin versus skin that's all clogged up and not getting clean properly. Um, especially if you're a makeup wearer, you really need to clean your face. Everyone needs to clean their face, but makeup wearers especially because you're putting additional dirt and bacteria and product, uh, chemicals that are just clogging up your face and your pores. So take care of your skin. You know, it's the first thing people see. First thing they notice about you is your face. <laughs> well, most people. Some people notice, you know, other things. But typically on average, you know, <laughs> the first thing people look at is your face. So make sure you're putting your best face forward. Okay, and I was going to show this and I completely forgot. Um, you can always spray your face with your setting spray before you start blending. And then that way it will make sure that your foundation really locks in and doesn't budge. I like to mix in, when I'm doing makeup for clients, I will mix in the, um, I'll take the foundation on the palette and I'll spray the uh, setting spray on there, mix it all together and then apply it to the face. So if you know you have an event coming up um, and you really want to make sure your foundation is locked in and it is not going nowhere, <laughs> you can use that trick and then it'll stay on. Okay, so I did order a new concealer. Um, I'm waiting for it. I just ordered it yesterday, so I'm waiting for it to come in. And of course, once I do, I will review it for you. But at the moment, I'm just going to stick to my handy dandy little um, LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, I did pick up, I can't remember if I spoke about this in our previous video, so if I did, I apologize guys for repeating myself. I did pick up Ruby Kisses, Ruby Kisses, Ruby Kisses, um, uh, Conceal, Concealer, C and C, what does that stand for? I don't know, so it's Contour Correcting Conceal, it's basically the same thing as the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I got it in the color beige, and it's slightly, slightly, slightly a little too dark for me. Um, but it works once I blend it out and I add my powder. But um, it it works just like the LA Girl Pro Conceal. So it's not any better. It's just, it's just pretty much the same. So in case you were eyeing that product at your, at your local beauty supply store, it works just like LA Girl Pro Conceal. LA Girl Pro Conceal might be slightly better. So, um... While this is all kind of just drying a little bit on my face, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, and while I'm baking, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> do the under eye area. So I'm going to go in with the, the purple. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the blue and just put that closer to the uh, lower lash line. Yeah. And then for my blush, I'm going to go into the Afterglow palette, and let's see, I think I'm going to use, this, let's use Glint today as the, as the blush. By applying my um, blush kind of like at an upward angle, I create kind of like a contour using the blush. So I start from the back, and then I just do circular motions and bring it and kind of blend it towards the front. So more of the color is concentrated back here. And then it just gives that illusion of me doing like a contour. Not a strong contour, just, just a slight contour. Okay, and then for my waterline, I'm going to use this Kiss um, pencil in the color... What color are you? In the color Electrifying Silver. For my highlight, I'm going to use Queen Elements No Filter Highlight. And the products I'm using today, the highlight and the um, palette and the glitter, are all by Black-owned companies. So, go ahead and support them. And this is going to be a um, like a rose gold 
um, toned highlight. If you can see that. And I love how you can get like a really kind of natural sheen with this highlight, but then you can also build it up if you want to get that blinding, like I'm about to blind you in 2019 with all my success. You know, if that's what you're looking for, you can definitely uh, build uh, this highlight up to do that. I don't do it too much because I am at work and I'm already kind of pushing the envelope by doing my makeup so dramatic. So, but if you don't have those restrictions or it's a day off for you or whatever the case may be, blind them, queen. Blind them with your radiance. Let them know in case they were Confucian. Let them know you came to reign, you were here. You are wonderful, you are awesome. Just let them know, okay? And I like how the there's like a, a closer to close the sifter. So I really like the way that um, she packaged the highlighter. Okay, and I'm going to use NYX uh, Suede Matte Lip Liner in Los Angeles. And that's this color right here. And then I'm going to top, top that with Motives Cosmetics Fetch Velvet uh, Lipstick. Alright guys, so here's my completed look right here. I hope you like this. I hope it turned out great. I hope you guys enjoyed this look like this. Um, if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications on when a new video is headed your way. All right, guys, I got to run out of here. I'll see you next time. Bye.